You probably don't need me to tell you that women lead the pack when it comes to multitasking. Studies actually show that women cope and manage stress of everyday life far greater than men. So what is it about us women that allows us to push forward during life's toughest moments? Well, today we have with us an expert who is author of this book, The Power of Women. It's Dr. Susan Nolan Huxima. We want to welcome you to the show. Thank, Thank you so you. much for it's being here. It's wonderful to be here. Let's talk about this because you say in your book that it is women who really can cope with stress far greater than men can. What makes us able to do that? I think over the years we've had uh, to cope with lots of different situations because we haven't had our own money or our own power. So we're really good at taking whatever falls our way, dealing with it and making lives that are not only surviving, but thriving for ourselves and our families. We're not saying that men can't multitask. Oh, no. For all of our male viewers out there saying, I know how to multitask. We're just saying that there are things in our lives as women that push us forward. Absolutely. And list some of those examples for us if you can. Talk to okay. us a little bit about that. Um, well, there are lots of mental and emotional and relational strengths that I talk about in the book. Um, so, for example, one of the mental strengths is that women are really good at being able to see many paths around their goals. Um, uh, many paths around obstacles to their goals and at uh, finding innovative creative ways of overcoming the things that are getting in the way of them doing what they want to um, and and moving forward and doing uh, wonderful things with their lives so in this book I mean yeah. this is to be really great writing first of all yeah. what inspired your book the power of women well it was actually my mother-in-law who raised her three children in Iran, Pakistan, and Thailand. Uh, it was my uh, father-in-law's job took them all over the world. And she is the kind of person who made every one of those an adventure, even though she was faced with lots of challenges um, and lots of safety issues for her family. But she saw everything as an opportunity to learn something new and bring her own identity to whatever culture she, she was in. Wow. I want to walk through some of your tools because I found them really incredible. Tools that you say that can help make us as women even more powerful. So let's start with the first one. You say, learn to see many paths to your goals. We what do you mean by that? Well, sometimes we feel as though when, when we get stuck that we just face that obstacle and we can't get around it. But um, I have lots of worksheets uh, for figuring out how to break down obstacles, make them smaller, so that you can begin to get control over them and go around them. All right, let's talk about this one. Another part of mental strength, learning to be optimistic, because I am a firm believer that your attitude determines your altitude. So yes. I totally agree with you. Yes. Um, and so one of the t uh, exercises that I give is learning to tune into those negative thoughts that run in the back of your head, kind of like a radio that you're not even paying attention to, mm -hmm. identifying them, challenging them, and not letting them affect your mood so that you can be more optimistic. All right, let's move to the next one. Learn to develop several roles in life. It's, it, women do multitask, and we often talk about that as being um, a problem, like it, it's a burden. But uh, it's actually very, very important to have lots of roles in your life as a parent. What do you mean by that, though? As a parent, as a par person in the workplace, as a volunteer, because that gives you lots of different um, uh, areas to base your identity on. It also gives you lots of social support networks mm. to fall back on when something goes wrong in one area. Okay, you say the part of about being emotional, learn to tolerate distress. Yes. So Which I think we already do half, all the time, ladies. Yes. And, and we often talk about how emotional women are, but our emotions are clues as to what's going on inside ourselves, and other people's emotions are clues as to what's going on inside them. So it's important to learn how to um, tap into that emotional intelligence uh, and use it both in relating to other people and also in the workplace, learning to read your employees, for example. Okay, the part about relational, learn to listen to others. Yes, well, we can be better and worse at listening. So one of the uh, exercises that I have is to practice the, uh, for a day as if you had laryngitis. Pretend you have laryngitis. Oh. So you're forced to listen to everyone and realize what you're missing out on when you're talking so much and not listening to others. It gets a great motivator uh, for uh, listening more in the future. So what about people who are not necessarily big talkers, who are introverts, for women that, that don't have a lot to say in terms of are not real conversational, a little bit on the shy side, what do you recommend for them? Well, I have some techniques for learning to be a little bit more out there if you want to. Um, uh, if you decide you want to be more assertive, you want to be uh, giving your opinions and talking more, um, I have uh, things that you can practice uh, uh, to express your opinion with mm -hmm. friends um, in the workplace so that you're not just left 
left behind if right. that's what you feel is happening to you. Well, I'm excited about that. What would you want your viewers, or our viewers rather, to walk away with after looking at your book or reading your book? What's the message for them to walk away with? I want them to feel empowered to capture their interests and their talents and to maximize them by, by really playing out their strengths in their workplace, in their community, and at home. Well, this is a year to reinvent yourself as a woman. I say yes. 2010. It's a new year, making it right. The name of the book is The Power of Women. Dr. Susan Nolan Huxima, thank you so very much for being here and sharing.